today we are going to learn how to measure what our attack distance is. We want to be able to know how far we can lunge, what the sizes our advances should be before that lunge, and how far away we have to retreat in order to move all the way back out of that distance comfortably using our lunge as a base measurement. Another thing we want to be able to do is plan where we engage with our opponent's blade in relation to that distance. So we wanna be able to know exactly where we're gonna set up our invitations or our blade presentations to be able to execute our finish of the attack. We're gonna start out our warm-ups. Uh, we're just gonna put our front foot on our tape that tells us where our close distance is. And I've measured this ahead of time, right? I put my foot here and measured to make sure that that's where that was. And then I put my back foot down on my, on what I, the lunge that I want to reproduce over and over again in competition. Well, you shouldn't be afraid to experiment with all the possibilities of your training station that you make, okay? So don't be afraid that you're doing something wrong. You're not. Just try to have good balance and shoulders relaxed. Have a mirror close by, that's really helpful. So warm up just with extensions. Come up with an amount of lunges to do. Hold your lunge a couple of times. Make sure that you're putting the weight in the proper places of your body and your hamstrings and, your, and the bottom of your glutes. Make sure that you're balanced and your shoulders are relaxed. Make sure you can move your weapon and your fingers so that you have a lot of flexibility. Make sure that your recovery is looking good. Your recovery is almost more important than your lunge. I'm gonna start outside of my lunge distance. So I'm gonna be at an advanced lunge distance. I can start way out here if I want, whichever you want to work on. And you should make a list of what you want to work on. I'm going to do my advance and look at where my back foot lands. Look in the mirror, make sure it's wonderful. Looking good. See, once you understand what your lunge distance is, you can identify whether or not you're close enough to do your attack all the time. So a big key to successful fencing is knowing how far can I lunge and can I execute this distance of lunge over and over and over again. If you can consistently perform that distance with your lunge, you can change it at will, as long as you know what your base distance is. I wanna remind you that one inch outside of lunge distance is still outside of lunge distance. Your one inch outside of lunge distance, you just missed by one inch. So that's an idea. So you can take the beat with your, your elbow back towards your body. That gives you a little bit more power in the wrist. Or you can take that beat with your arm out slightly as I'm gonna use my hand to take that, my wrist and fingers to take that blade. And then I'm gonna draw a line from my point directly to target area. I want it to be as straight as possible. Keep my lunge, recover, and now I have to retreat out far enough that I am in a good position to take this blade with balance and power ready to go for the repost. Advance, 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 lunge. Recover. Remember there's all sorts of possibilities for what you can do with this station. You film yourself doing these things, especially when you don't have an opponent to fence with. Blades, my blades, close to me so that I would force myself to think about keeping my point close to the target area and not pulling my weapon way out here. Like I said, get creative and you can practice doing your parries fast. Also, if you have chairs like this, you can use these to practice your low lines along with it. So I can be at close distance, take a parry, step in as if your opponent is stepping into you and practice my very close action. Or take another step and practice your passive actions. This won't be the last time we use our training station. So I encourage you to go ahead and set something up and get started. And like I said, don't be afraid to make mistakes. There are no mistakes. The only mistake you can make is not giving it a try.